There are many people today embracing the false doctrine of universalism. Now the definition of universalism by Dr. J.I. Packer in the book Hell Under Fire, page 170, is this. A universalist is someone who believes that every human being whom God has created or will create will finally come to enjoy the everlasting salvation into which Christians enter the here and now. In other words, no matter what your belief, everyone will eventually enter heaven. Uh, he goes on to say, whether Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, or Protestant Evangelical, the church has officially rated universalism as a heresy. Well, they say that everybody will make it to heaven. Let's look at some verses. In uh, Luke 13, 24, Jesus said, Strive to enter in at the straight gate, for many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Now that's clear. And he goes on to say, You shall see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. You can see there's people not making it to heaven. John 7, 33, Jesus is getting ready to go to heaven, depart to heaven, and he's talking to the Pharisees. He said, Then Jesus said unto the Pharisees, Yet a little while I am with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. You shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am you cannot come. He goes on to say in John 8, 21, I go my way and you shall seek me and shall die in your sins. Where I go, you cannot come. Hebrews 3, 11 and verse 19 says, So I swear in my wrath they shall not enter into my rest. So we see then they could not enter in because of unbelief. They couldn't enter in. These people are not making it to heaven. Revelation 20, 15 says, Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. God has a book. And Psalm 69, 28 says, let them be blotted out of the book of the living. Exodus 32, 33, him will I blot out of my book. So we can see you can be blotted out of the book of the living. Revelation 14, 10, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the lamb and in the presence of the holy angels. And the smoke of their torment ascends up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night. That's clear. 2 Thessalonians 1.9 Those who obey not the gospel shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord. Matthew 25.41 Jesus said, Depart from me, ye cursed, in everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Then he said in Matthew 25.46 And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into everlasting life. So we see two groups of people. Not everybody's making it in heaven. Now look, John 3.36 says, He that believes in the Son has everlasting life, but he that believes not on the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. You have to believe in the Son. Then Jesus said in John 6.40, And this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone which sees the Son and believes on him may have everlasting life. You have to believe on the Son to have everlasting life. Then Jesus said in John 14.6, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man comes unto the Father but by me. Now, if you still believe in universalism after hearing these very clear scriptures, then as Galatians 1.8 states, you are believing another gospel, which is not really another gospel. And it says, let that man be accursed. You are placing your beliefs above the word of God. Universalism negates the very reason for the cross.